Well, here it is. The 55 trying to halt an outbreak of ick. Don't know how I got it. Don't know what to do about it besides attempt to medicate. I really didn't want to medicate the entire 55 gallon tank with all my guppies and tetras and whatnot in it, but um, I've already lost one of my Corydoras. I came home uh, from the weekend and he was a goner. And I also lost one of my original yellow guppies, which means I only have this one left from the original three that I bought back in August, no, not August, probably, well, maybe late August or early September 1, right around in there. So, um, I've had my loaches over here in quarantine for, oh gosh, four or five days now. And I think that they are showing improvement being a scaleless fish. They're more susceptible to the medication, so I'm trying to cure them naturally um, by um, killing the ick with temperature. I slowly raise the temperature of the water a couple degrees over the course of three or four days until finally um, we are at about 85 degrees, which um, is tolerable for the fish, um, but uh, kills the parasite. Uh, it gives a parasite. You can only see one in here. Um, the other one, no doubt, is hiding inside. There's like a hiding place there. Oh, actually, where'd he go? There he is. There is a little nook where they can hide inside that filter on the back. Anywho, so I'm really, really hoping that this medicine doesn't just kill all my fish, but I'm afraid that if I don't take some kind of measure now after waiting and observing a few days, I have seen little white spots on the tails of the guppies. I'm afraid that if I don't take the risk that I'm going to, you know, just lose them one by one because that seems to be what's happening. Um, I've already lost, like I said, I've lost a guppy to it and a... Um, Corydoras, which really breaks my heart more the Corydoras than anything. No, oh, he was just laying there. He looked so sad and dead. Um, and now I've got another Corydoras in here who's alone, and it's not really good for them to be alone at all. I've got more Corys in my planted tank over here, or my more heavily planted tank, but I don't dare move him over for the chance of him bringing Ick with him, and I don't dare move these guys into the 50 to give him company lest he, you know, lest they also be exposed to um, contaminated water. So it's kind of a catch-22, I don't know if that's the word for it, but it's a <sighs> choice of evils. So it's turned my water completely green, apparently, was not expecting that. Um, in 48 hours I have to repeat the dose and then 48 hours later I do a water change so here's hoping for the best hoping this saves everybody rather than you know risking losing them one by one by one by one you know so we'll see what happens